Live? Okay. Let's pretend it's live. What's going on, everybody? It's Paul, back for another week. It's July 17th, halfway through 2017. Can you believe it all? Ready, but let's uh, catch up with what we did last week, what was launched, and what was going on here at Introduce. Well, first of all, we have a special going on, and it's going on until next Monday. So go ahead, check that video out, and uh, um, what the special is in regards to is video elements that can be used to help enhance the video that's already been created for you, such as animated gifs, or maybe a short teaser, or having closed captioning, such uh, so on and so forth, and you can either combine them or you can just use them uh, singular. Even the Facebook cover photo or cover photo can now be a video. You can create something specifically for that. So check that video out. Check out those specials. It's good until Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, next thing that we released was our video for the Ingham County Health Department on their Healthy Ingham County Grant. So just take a look at a video going in and around Ingham County and, and um, uh, we interviewed a few people um, that have a special, special uh, where Ingham County is a special place for them and you know they, uh, they had this money to put forward to this video. Our uh, series, we started off finally, another video series. This is with Elder Law of Michigan Incorporated, and uh, we did a video about uh, their pensions, the part one version, the part one of their pensions video. Now, we're going to be starting a new series with them coming up pretty soon, but we're wrapping up this, this set of videos, so this will be our series for the summer. Uh, Thursday, we did our Throwback Thursday video, which is one of our favorites, the, where we uh, followed Reach as they did one of their student projects, and this was the garden project they put up last summer. So check out that and uh, um, all the interviews there. And finally, of course, is Jazz Friday and what uh, from the Summer Solstice Jazz Festival of 2016. We're working on 2017 as we speak, so some new videos will be coming out. But this one um, is Marcus Elliott. And he does the song The Hills of Pinar del Rio. I know my uh, accent there is terrible, but what can I say? Um, also, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channels, hashtag Better Call Paul. Um, that is for the ones that we produce just for you internally, for you, and also our client work, which is on our Unaduce Multimedia channel. So check out all of that stuff. Um, and so on and, and uh, drop us a line please subscribe to them so you don't miss what's what's being launched I know that I remind you here what we launched but it's also good to be one of the first in the know so moving right along to what happened on the blog um, we had a guest article uh, in which my dear friend Erinico O'Meara wrote a lovely uh, article about her leaving Rio Town as well, and it's entitled Oh Rio, My Rio, and she goes a little bit more in depth than I do in the video, but of course I'm a video guy, so I'm going to do a video. She does some great um, uh, um, prose on her reactions to her being down there in Rio Town and what it's meant to her and, and, and playing a part in that uh, revitalization and um, yeah, it was, it's a really great article, and she has got some wonderful photos that go along with them. I used a couple of them on my blog. You can see more of them on her blog, which is at erinico.wordpress.com. And the next one is, of course, we always do it, the Second Brain Collective podcast. This time we talked with Amanda Washburn of Rough Draft Solutions, where she talks about being a, a young entrepreneur and all the time commitments with that, as well as how important copy and copywriting is to your business. So check out that interview. It's a great interview with one of our up and coming, and well, I shouldn't say up and coming, she's been around for a while, one of our really fantastic entrepreneurs in the Greater Lansing area. So moving right along to the Ride Home Reviews that uh, my other YouTube channel, you can subscribe to that on YouTube, Ride Home Reviews, like, like it on Facebook. But uh, last week I reviewed Spider Man Homecoming, thought it was all right, um, had some issues with it. But for the most part, I thought they nailed what they needed to nail with the character and going forward and uh, making him part of the greater Marvel universe. 
this week I'm going to um, review War for the Planet of the Apes. I just watched the other one, the second one, for the first time the other night. Was really surprised at how good that that was. I mean, I saw the Rotten Tomato rating on it, and I'm like, all right, well, let's check this out. Yeah, it, it's really impressive. Um, I have a short review of that on my Anchor channel, so you go to the Ride Home Reviews on Anchor, you can listen to that review that I did there. So events a little bit uh, coming up this week that I'll be at are, or that I want to highlight uh, a little shorter than normal. Um, everything seems to be happening on, a, happening on a Thursday. One that I didn't put on there, I forgot to put on there, is I'll be uh, um, attending the Shiawassee Connection Group um, on Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. Uh, later on that day uh, starts the MABA golf outing. It starts at 11.30 with a networking lunch. At, starting at 11.30 with the shotgun start for the golf at 1 p.m. Uh, that, that is happening this Thursday as well as once again it's the third week of the month so you know what that means. It's the drinking lunch happening at the Lansing Brewing Company from 2 to 4 this Thursday afternoon. That's where I'll be. I'm one of the co-founders. Got to be responsible. Hey, you know what I'm saying. I hope to see you there. I know there's a lot of other things happening this Thursday. It's crazy. It seems, uh, is it, I don't know if it's attached to the eclipse or what, but things are happening this Thursday. All right, let's go from regional or local to national and look at some of the news that pertains to video out in the world. Um, one of those is interesting. Um, uh, where you I read about publishers gaming the Facebook by posting pictures as videos. What that means is that video is Facebook has put a high priority on video and so what folks are doing is they're taking a still and making an mp4 out of that and uploading that as a video so that people are seeing the still and it's getting um, ranked a little bit higher in the Facebook algorithm. I think it's kind of funny it's kind of creative, but you know what? It's just like, you know, it's a one one minute still. <laughs> but that's what has to happen. People are taking this technology and doing, you know, finding the loopholes. Um, another article I found a little interesting, but not surprising. Interesting, not surprising. And saying like long form video is most popular regardless of screen size. So that has a lot to do with the cord, this this cord cutting uh, phenomenon. I don't want to even call it a phenomenon anymore. People, I cut the cable cord in 2010, 2011, um, and so I mean between what Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime are doing, more people are getting used to watching long form content on their devices. More people are using connected devices and uh, to use apps. That connect uh, connected devices like Roku's and Apple TVs to their television and the Chromecast. So, you know, people want to watch what they want to watch when they want to watch it. And with what the neutra net neutrality debate is on to right now, uh, it sounds like there's going to be a bit of a collision course heading, um, you know, really quickly because that's just those are just two things that just mm, net neutrality and then cord cutting. Ooh. We're going to see what happens after that. So that might be a better fight than the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather. Cord cutting versus uh, net neutrality. Lastly, uh, GE Healthcare is doing something pretty brilliant. It's releasing a 30-minute documentary, a minute at a time, on Instagram. Why? Because Instagram has that restriction that you can only do 60 seconds for an up uploaded video. And I think it's brilliant. It's a brilliant way to use Instagram. People on Instagram like crazy. That's the hot new platform. I don't even want to call it new, but it's the hottest platform for everybody. And so it's just a brilliant way to really get something out there and then also create engagement across that. So I'm going to be interested to see the results on how that works. I think it's a great idea. But um, And especially now with healthcare being such a debate, um, I think that's what's really going to be the kicker for that. I'm, I'm really interested in that. So we've gone through all that and we finally come to the, the bottom of the, I don't, I don't even call it an hour. I only do this for 10 to 15 minutes. So the bottom of the show, question of the week. 
this is something I got. This was a question I thought was really cool. Um, uh, if you didn't know, I did a presentation at OrgPro for the Michigan Society of Association Executives. And one of the questions I got in one of the sessions was, does quality really matter? And I told this person that, of course, this is the answer most people hate, but yes and no. Quality really matters, and it depends depends on how you're trying to use video. If you are trying to promote what you're doing, market yourself, market your organization, try to get the attention of somebody, then quality matters a lot. Uh, you really have to look professional, you really have to look, you have to build the trust with your audience. So if you're just treating this marketing or promotion or PR video as just a, oh, well, let's just do this on the fly, then you're not going to build the trust that you need with that audience. On the flip side, if you are looking to do live streaming, whether it's, you know, Facebook Live, uh, Instagram Live, Periscope, that type of deal, then the quality and then the audience is a little more forgiving on the quality because you're doing it right on the spot. You're really trying to put yourself in the, in the person's path, and so that's where the audience will forgive a little bit because it's a little harder to create professional streams on the fly. Like this show, this is super prepared, um, and so I'm using a piece of software that's helping me go through Facebook Live um, to make it look and sound great. So on the other hand, that's where, you know, being live on the spot is a little more forgiving. So quality does matter in the instance of trying to promote and market yourself to build trust with your audience, but it doesn't completely matter if you're trying to get a message out immediately live. So I hope that answers that question. If you have any questions, please drop me a line. I'm always open. You can email me, paules at unaduce.com. You can find us on any social media. We're on Instagram. We're on uh Facebook, in Twitter, in of course YouTube. So reach out to us there. Ask your questions. We'd love I'd love to answer them. So see if you can stump me. And please make sure it's about video. This is a video show. I'm a video guy. So there you have it. Uh, once again, please subscribe, please like and share this content. I'd like to hear from you. So until next week, be creative, do something cool. Talk to you later.